Welcome to the Geek Remix channel. My name is Mari. And I'm Stacy. Welcome this... to Life is Strange Before the Storm. And this is Chloe being edgy, I'm pretty sure. Oh. What is oh. up with gay people and train tracks? What is up with video game characters wanting to have, like, serious moments on train tracks? It's the same train track. It's the same train that almost hit her, too. 1337? Will almost hit her. Oh. Oh, Will almost hit her. Did you ever notice that? Is this real? Is this a dream? Nope, she's just suicidal. <laughs> she's just depressed and wants to feel something. Yeah, but seriously, what is up with uh, LGBTQ? I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Oh, Mom so would weird. kill me if she knew I was out here. But have you noticed in like every single game that shows a, a queer what, LGBTQI? I can only plus... think of one other example. And then I saw on Bro Jobs, dudes just make it out on train tracks. Like you, you'll see like non-street people uh, just hang out on train tracks. What's the deal with that? I don't know. But it was also in, what's that other game we played? Night in, in the Woods. Night in the Woods. But that's the only one I can think Shit. of. They just love laying on train tracks. Oh man, tracks. so weird hearing that voice actress, huh? Yeah, it's not, it's not the same. This place is awesome. <laughs> All right. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. So, my headcanon is, this is like when she first started smoking, and then, you know, later her voice gets raspy from smoking. I don't know. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. So, in... I made a video where I was talking about how I was open to the possibility of a voice actor. That's exactly voice actors. your problem. Not necessarily Meaning because... you. Yeah. Your problem. Not mine. Not necessarily because I'd want that, know but just, kind. you I know, know people change. Excuses. Those guys need to get a room. Yeah! <laughs> Chloe's already shipping dudes left and right. Damn. Mind your own business. These two guys look like guys I would bang and regret, but they're not. <laughs> Some say the world will end in fire. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This reminds me of this that movie. This place is sketchy as hell. An <laughs> old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. I don't know if you ever saw the movie The Green Room. <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Any place is better than home. I don't know if I like her in her monologue yet, but then I also have to remember that she's, she's not, not Max. The, she's not the. She's not a not Max because Max would say wowzer. B. She's a younger version than the Chloe we know, so she might have cringy inner dialogue. So yeah, that's kind of part of being a teenager. Some say the world will end in fire. Weirdy. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's so cringy. But then it's like, I totally would have said that when I was 15. Oh yeah, I'd join a motorcycle gang. If I had any friends. Aww. When uh, so the green room is a movie about essentially a band that goes to play a punk show at like, and then they'd sing, Nazis get the fuck out to the Nazis, and yep. then the Nazis kill everyone. And so yeah, <laughs> it's an interesting movie though. It was kind of uh, cool to see Sir Patrick Stewart play like an evil character. He loves playing evil characters. I know, and it was cool to see. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. This is Frank's van. This RV's just begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Oh, just, hmm. Are we supposed to figure it out? Can we do it over? Yeah! Ah, <gasps> perfect place for me to work. <laughs> We're about wait, to wait. do the graffiti that we see in Life is Strange. Watch. It's gonna be a smiley face, I think. Now what to draw? You Not a meth lab. To... 
<laughs> Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. Oh my god, this, you know what this is? That's the handwriting of all the graffiti we saw yeah. in Life is Strange. So that kind of confirms... <gasps> Max, so you know how I stopped going to class so much? Like, you, Oh, this is like a letter to Max in her diary. Yeah. Max, so you know how I stopped going to class so much? Like, you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story. I had trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't. I just didn't show up. And it was fine. Nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invincible all of a sudden. Maybe that's the perk of being the dead dad girl. No one knows what to do with me, so they're actually relieved when I stay home. Wish I'd figured this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Pris from Blade Runner popped into my head last time I rubbed one. I mean, at first, I was thinking about Deckard and that smolder of his, but then Pris just totally stole the show. Probably nothing there. Think I just want her bangs. Chloe the Electric Sheep. That's how it starts! That's how it starts! We were like, wait a second, why wait. am I thinking about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was such a good... That was like a really... I don't know, genuine. I don't know. This just seems like so real to me. That was a that was really good. Yeah. Like I'm gonna write a passive aggressive letter in my diary, and then I'm gonna talk about my confused sexual. That was so my good. Confused sexuality. All right, so we are. Oh wait, okay. go. Dear wait, Max, is this the? This is the first page of her diary. Okay. Okay, dear Max, Dad got me this stationery when. One day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say. Because we haven't talked in three months. Despite all my calls and texts and not not that I'm upset or anything. Fuck, there's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe, the unfriended. Max, now this is more like it. Here, I can write to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write back. This is the saddest Maybe thing in the entire Maybe one day world. when you return home and apologize for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend pen pal. Time will tell. Chloe, the journal boss. I was so worried that the writing was going to be shit, but it's amazing, and I love it. And I'm already sad. <laughs> okay, ready? So mom suggests taking a road trip next summer, and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David. The wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on my mom and has struck around like a bad zit. David, the mustache monster from Planet Dipshit, that fucking David. Anyway... I politely suggested to Mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then, or breathing. Hey, shit happens. As you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy is still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues and I've got serious self-immolation. Look it up, nerd plans. She can do better. That's all I meant. But she didn't want to hear it. Like I'm the asshole. Chloe the asshole. I really like these journal entries. My name's Chloe Price, but you can call me... You know what? We'll come back to this. We want to pace yeah. this out. There's plenty in there to see, so... We're, we'll come back to it. We'll pace it out. Yeah. Look at her swagger. She's like, whatever. Two wheels forever. Oop. Door. But I want to look at everything first real quick. Talk to everyone. What's up? Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. <laughs> it's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and... I'm just oh. trying to check out your traditional tattoos, man. I find it unlikely that he's New Zealand... Uh, natively New Zealand, but... They're the only ones who put their traditional tribal tattoos on their face. So I'm a little confused. I mean, it's possible. I'd much rather believe that than that 
he just got a random tribal tattoo on his face. Well, I mean, in my opinion, he looks like he might be Pacific Islander, and lots of people get traditional Pacific Islander tattoos. Uh, like, my mom's from Hawaii, so we saw, I saw a lot of it when I was growing up, but I don't think Pacific Islanders put tattoos on their face. Well, wait, no. That could, you know what? Put it in the comments if you're Native Hawaiian or Native Pacific Islander, if you put tattoos, put your traditional tattoos in your face. But did you know that traditional um, Hawaiian tattoos are done with bone uh, whale teeth? No, I did not know that. Yeah, it's pretty dope. What's this train car? It's extremely painful. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. So I think that we might be able to go around him. Yeah, there's a door back in the thing, yeah. but okay, so. B-Y-N and Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde. Clyde. A six case. I don't know what that Save is. Save that for later. And then, no. Spartacus. Spartacus. Mm. Maybe Mal, Mal, Renz? Mal, Mal Ren Reynolds? I don't know. Mal Reynolds? Wait, Mal. Is is that the guy from Firefly? Mal Reynolds? Sleep slur slippery jam? Slippery jam? Slippery Jim? Slippery Jim. Okay, in case you guys are new to the Geek Remix channel, we like to look at we like every to look single. At things, so. We like to look at every single detail in case uh, you know somebody doesn't have the game, and also yeah, for... Mel Reynolds is the guy is the lead guy from Firefly. Ah, a second door inside, so close and yet so far. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. I was worried this was gonna suck, but so far I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with it. Seems pretty... Maybe we gotta talk to the guy and there's something else that we can say to him. God, again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh... Pretty cool. <laughs> Gee, thanks. This guy's hot. Is that all? <laughs> this is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. <laughs> Are you kidding? You should probably just go. Why aren't we allowed in? Because we're underage. We started a back talk, talk challenge. Is that our part? Is that our power? <laughs> yeah. I haven't I haven't read anything at all. Oh, about this. I literally just read it on the description page on the Xbox. Store. <laughs> our power is back talking. Yeah. So no, no, no. It's it's basically basically we back talk to try to like. But it's hilarious. Like Max's powers, the power to bend time. Chloe, the ability to talk back. The ability to talk back and be a little teenager. <laughs> Being a little teenage shit. Yep. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. In back talk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. What? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past what? your bedtime? I don't... How do I do this? To, to succeed, succeed pay, pay attention to what your opponent says. Bedtime. So, your bedtime? What's your bedtime? Because that's sassy. Or, if, I, if you say no bedtime, he's gonna be like, oh, you know what I mean? Uh, what about your bedtime? You know? Maybe. Oh, isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute, but I still don't know you. Again, let's cute. See. Cute is I, relative, or I don't do cute. You want to do that? Yeah. Look at my face. Do I look cute, or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? You look cute and like <laughs> you're gonna kick. Okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. 
<laughs> She's like, um, do I look like you can get a kick your ass? I'm like, well, you look like both. Go to the, Maybe yeah. I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. It's like a, it's like a spinoff. You seeing this? I can't protect mm -hmm. you in there. Uh, Gross. You mean oh. a girl who doesn't take shit from a walking pair of biceps like you? That kind of girl? My boss will kill me if I let you in. Bosses, Bosses suck. suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're, you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. Kiss him on the lips. <laughs> you could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. She's like, do I look cute to you or like I could kick your ass? And I'm like, both, babe. Both. <laughs> You're adorable and you'll punch me in the face and I love it. And you'll love every second I'm of it. I'm gonna love every second of you punching me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Punch me! You ever see Please. someone and they're just like, what do you want? And I'm like, you. <laughs> it's like it's like when they show that girl from the Olympics. Remember, she like lifts up that gigantic barbell and then like lets it drop and then she does the little heart like curtsy. And it's just like... She's like, get you a girl who can do both. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, shit. Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Can we pet the dog? Oh god, is this the barn? Is this the no it's not. No, it's not. Dirty Anne, question everything. Why? <laughs> 9 78 a.m. That was in um David's garage. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. First of all, I want to pet the dog. Fierce. I'm a pet it. Uh, What's her name? Delia. Aww. Yes. 10 out of Make 10 game. The dogs. She doesn't usually like people. I'm not a person. Yeah. Me neither. Yeah, well, in all ways except physical, I'm a dog too. <laughs> so. We're a replicant. Hold so. on. No. You see that uh, no, license no, 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 plate no. over there? Yeah. I recognize that from David's. Um, uh, right. garage. garage. Yeah. More than an hour to do it. Hey, are you selling 20 any bucks? What? Twenty bucks for a T-shirt. That's really expensive, Dick. Um, can't I steal one? Look, we have to set this Hold on. Let me just. Let me just. All right. Maybe we have to distract him. Yeah, we gotta steal that shit. Yeah. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. Hmm. No, 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 no. There's got to be a way. So, so with Damon. Thanks for the memo. So what? Can we pull the parking brake? Or? Yes, but it, hold on. Let me see if I can take this. Hey, I told you twenty bucks. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt. I'm going to need to get creative. Because a dick, he won't let me steal from him. Yeah. No, no. What an asshole. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I was to you. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. <laughs> it's oh such assholes, God. I love it! Shit. No, 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 no! Come on! Oh no! What oh. happened? Oh. Thanks for playing. Dick. <laughs> we're such a jerk. We're amazing. Oh, no, we're just yeah. punk rock, Stacy. <laughs> Sweet victory. Punk rock doesn't charge twenty bucks, man. What's that? What is Whoa. it? Is it a gun? We better get it if it's a gun. That's like two hundred bucks. Get it. Take it. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Give it to me. I'm role playing as Holy a teenager, shit. so I'm obviously. Rich. I don't know, I didn't steal as a teenager. I did. Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. <laughs> Skeevy guys. Sketch Central. 
There's so much. Okay, remember to forget. Some people are so something. All they have is money. We are the kids that your parents warned some people, you about. Some people are so poor. All they have is money. Ah. If you think this is bad, you should see what our government is up to. Don't be a dick, Plato. <laughs> we are the kids that your parents warned you about. Sweet dreams, hombre. Graffiti everywhere. I think they missed a spot. So we have the power of graffiti and talking shit. <gasps> Evil eye! What are you looking at? I like that we just carry around a black, like, gigantic honest, marker. I'm gonna be honest, I was so worried about this sucking, and I'm, like, so happy that I'm having a good time. Cold beer? Free for the taking? Mm, don't do this, teenagers, but I just feel really reckless today. Beers free? Oh, do they count the, the beers? Yeah, maybe we should be careful about Drink that. More, yeah. Feel less. Yes, please. Interesting. I was just anybody who's like, oh, Chloe's dialogue is cringy. Just shut up. That's what everyone sounds like. So. No thanks. I try to avoid hepatitis, but I can't. Yikes. Oh Brain look. Bowers. What is he doing here? Hey, what's up? Hey, I killed buddy. you. Yo. <laughs> Frank! Hey! Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs, you're trying too hard. Studs are cool! Shut what up, are Frank! What doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. Is that Rachel? How'd I think it is. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Shut up, Frank. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. No, okay. wait, sorry. So, <laughs> it's fine. I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the hundred and seventy-five bucks, you holy owe me. shit! Oh wait, but we stole a bunch of money. Oh wait! Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving all this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Oh, he he cares a little nope. bit. No, so he just doesn't want to get robbed. <laughs> no more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. I'll beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I wonder if we're going to get Whatever. to the point where we like him in this game. I didn't particularly uh, hate him in the original. I do I, think he's kind of a shithead. I mean, yes, but... Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks oh, wait, dicey. no. He sells rape drugs. Never mind. Yeah. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? That's Same. right, that's a good point. I'd forgotten about that. Damn, there are a lot of people here. Hold God, on, wait one second. I would what? Wait! What? Come on, go back. Because there's... There's a... Uh, can we take that knife? <gasps> good idea! Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Yeah, Mom! Angelina Jolie gets knives for her kids! Well, why don't you take it, Chloe? I can't take it. Aww. I'm so glad that you were like, wait, there's a knife. Wait, there's a knife we could take. <laughs> you want to <laughs> really get this party started? Get there's a knife, a knife and just throw it. Close your eyes and throw it. <laughs> Here we go. Look at Rachel looking sexy. Oh, fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we gonna fight? Hey. You okay? I'm Aww. fine. Aww. Relax. Ew. God, never mind. Me, right? Uh oh. Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, dude. Nope. Mm. Don't care either. Hey, 
let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right, mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. New dialogue. With who? Frank? Probably maybe. Frank. She returns. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's uh, a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. <laughs> Real helpful, Frank. Thanks, Frank. I mean, will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. So are we gonna Whatever. have to, like, distract him and, like, lure him away? I don't think he's gonna give a fuck. Well, he said no one goes up there. Can I get the knife? Like, why would they tempt us with a knife if we I, can't have it? I'm just saying, don't put a weapon out there. If you don't want kids to have weapons, don't put them out there, like... Is she okay? Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Cute hair. Good girl. Puppy! Alright, here goes. <laughs> At least she's not wearing Hot Topic clothes. Oh, yes! How do you know? Finally made it! I can't believe it! I do really like that they put so much into choosing the music for Life is Strange. Jump down! You wanna break your ankles? I was really worried this is gonna suck, but I'm actually really happy with this. Yeah. This is nice! Impressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer. I think she's calling us out, dude. She's yeah. gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Oh my god. See, this is why we wanted the Dick knife. Ah! Whoa. Rachel? Come on. Oh my god, she's like a punk rock goddess. I know, right? You seeing this oh, yeah. shit? She's got the faux hawk and everything. Look at those ripped tights. Let me go, Frank. Not gonna happen. Calm down. Come on, man. Walk away. Screw this. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sexually aroused. And now we're running away. <laughs> what was it? 
This is awesome! I like it! And you were specifically saying before you played this. I was like, oh, I better not be too negative. Like, I better not be too negative. I don't even want to see Rachel's story. Rachel sucks. I don't- I did not say Rachel sucks. Okay? <laughs> I said, said I didn't was, want to watch her pain before she died. You said it was going to be sad. I didn't want it to be sad, but you know what? Now I'm down. I really love the journal entry where she was like, yeah, a woman popped into my dream as I was masturbating. And this is like confusing, yeah. And I was like, wow, that's like... Well, because it seems like such a real thing. Yeah. Oh, look, we get to see the transition of her into punk hood. Because yeah. there was a American flag there before, but now we got daisy things. Even her art is gay fingers. You know, like, what, you know what that looks like. That looks like one of those. You know, have you ever made those hand candles? Oh, where yeah. You dip well, your I hand didn't. Wet, but like a my mold, and they did. fill it. Yeah. And she decided that hers was going to be a gay middle finger. So. Look, there's the poster. The the one based off of the girl uh, with the dragon tattoo. Yes. Thank you. I know what you're saying. I'm like pointing and gesturing at the screen. Mari, fill it in. F figure it out. <laughs> yep. See, doesn't that really bother you how the thing is too long on the logo? No, because it's to the left and my OCD of fevers to the left, so I'm okay with it. Oh. It's the morning, Chloe. It's the morning. How old is she supposed to be in this? Ah, uh, like fifteen or something. Maybe sixteen. Yeah, maybe. This is giving me serious like trailer feels, where she's just smoking in her room. I haven't watched any of the trailers. I stay pure. I just watched the trailer. I'm more pure than you. No, I'm more pure. Well, people were asking us if we had any saw any spoilers for this, and I feel like we did pretty, pretty well avoiding them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Is that Kat Von D? Looks like it could be. Daily rituals are important. Uh, Max! Even when they involve oh. writing unread letters to okay. friends who have forgotten you. Max, the loser. Yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Oh, this is in 2010. So it's three years before the events of Life is Strange. So, 15? Huh? So she's 15? She, I think she was 19 in the events of Life is Strange. And so she's 16. So she's 16, okay. okay. That's right, I called you a loser. Wanna know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. Or, Mom, if you're reading this, he's my dealer and you shouldn't be reading this. Yeah, Mom! It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to this old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was the shit. Who knew ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle. I just realized what the Firewalk band is referencing. Is Firewalk with me? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh no. I oh don't... man, I didn't even point that out because I just it thought was it was so, so obvious. obvious. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to watch Firewalk with me, which is probably going to be the basis for this game, don't because it's really depressing and it's disturbing. <laughs> Plus, I mean, if your criteria is don't watch it because it's depressing, then just don't watch this Let's Play. It's gonna it, be no, sad. No, it's, it's really bad. Like, really fuck, like, fucked up. Like, on a level where you're like, oh my god, oh. you poor woman! <laughs> Plus, okay. I have a sweet-ass souvenir, black, a, a sweet-ass black eye for a souvenir. No big deal, but there were these two asshole skeevy guys whose manhood I wrecked. Oh, yeah? And I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How was your night, loser? Firewalk plus Chloe is greater than Max. You can really feel her anger. So we read all of those. 
Max Caulfield, MIAX best friend extraordinaire, this artsy motherfucker loves photography more than life itself and definitely more than me. She even uses old instant cameras. It's probably not healthy for anyone to be that stuck in the past, but who am I to tell people how to live their lives? When we were kids, we would dress up like pirates and eat ice cream and write and draw these stupid comic books where we had powers and saved people and shit. Then my dad died, and her dad got some job up north, and she moved away to Seattle. It was probably the moment when I needed her most, and she bailed. Thanks, Max, for teaching me that I can't rely on anyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. The worst part is that even though we haven't spoken in months, even though she hab habitually ignores my texts so much that I just stop trying, even though I know, deep down, that she doesn't care about me anymore, and that she probably has all new friends up in fucking Seattle, I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, Hey, Chloe, want to dress up like pirates and be stupid together, I would take her back in a heartbeat. Love dub in a heartbeat. You know, I'm really glad that they're not shying away from... The pain. Uh, Chloe's anger at Max. For sure. That they're not treating Max as if she's, you know, untouchable, Innocent. perfect, you know? Yeah. Because Chloe was really mad at her for you know, feeling abandoned. Look, a little periodic table to show that she was interested in chemistry. All right, uh, end of the episode. Moving on to the next one.